What's up? I just wanted to talk about a statement that I've heard quite a few people make, and uh, it's about how they say, you know, I believe in God, but I'm not really into theology. I really I haven't really studied theology. I'm not really into that and all that stuff. Uh, that's ridiculous. Just going to tell you right out. It's completely ridiculous. Uh, first of all, everyone on planet Earth has a theology. Because what does theology mean? Well, theology means the study of God. That's it. The Greek word for God is theos. That's it. Just like the study of man, anthropology, the Greek word is anthropos, meaning man. Study of man. So theology just means your view of God, and you have one no matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you, even if you're an atheist, a Muslim, uh, you know, a Hindu, a Christian. Everyone has a view of God. The question is, is the view accurate? That's it. Is, it. is it accurate? Does it reflect the truth? Or is it something that you made up in your own mind? It's part of your imagination. You just, say, you, know, you just thought, oh, I think God is like this. Or you took it from tradition. Well, my forefathers taught me that God is this. My religion teaches me that God is this. My holy book teaches me that God is this. You're getting your view of God from somewhere. Even if you're an agnostic, you say, I don't know who God is. I, you know, I believe in a higher power. That's a view of God. That's a theology. You have a view. You're an atheist. I don't believe there's a God. That's your view of God. Even though if you dig more deeply with atheists, they usually hate God who doesn't exist. But anyways, that's part of the theology. So, you know, here's, so here's the point that I wanted to make. So if everyone has a theology, you have a theology, and you tell me you're not really into theology, what you're saying is, I don't really care if my view about God is accurate. Okay? You don't really care. And, uh, and, and I've heard people who say they're, they're Christians say this. A Christian doesn't care if their view of God is accurate. Okay. Do you think God cares? I think he does. Because I think God cares, God who is holy, righteous, just, loving, forgiving, merciful, right? That's the God of the Bible. I think he cares if you think he's an evil purple elephant, right? Or, or if you think Jesus is a great teacher, but you don't believe he's the son of God, well, I think Jesus, who is the son of God, would care about that. And he does, because the Bible says so. So the question is, how do you determine what is an accurate view of God? Well, there's only one way. The Word of God. The Bible. That's it. You have to have an objective standard for truth. Because if one person says they're a Christian, another person says they're a Christian, and they have a discussion, and they say, I think Jesus was like this, the other person says, no, I believe Jesus was like this, or he is like this. How do we know who is correct? Does it matter? Can they say, well, we just disagree, and that's fine, and we're both Christians? No, it does matter. Your view on God, it, it matters a lot. And the only way that they can settle that discussion is with the Word of God. Now, there are some topics and some things that we can disagree on and it's not a big deal as even as Christians they can disagree on it right they just can, they can disagree maybe on how many times a week do they want to meet together and go to church and and you know all these different types of things though it's fine to have disagreements about that differences of opinion but one thing you can't disagree on and still be a Christian is who God is and who Jesus is it is impossible to be a Christian and believe that Jesus is not the Son of God, that Jesus is not God in the manifest in the flesh, 1 Timothy 3.16. You are not a Christian if you do not believe that. It's not some willy-nilly side issue. You're talking about who Jesus is. And it, okay, so let me explain that to you. If you teach that Jesus is not God, then you believe in a completely different Jesus that does not exist okay we have objective truth that we can look at in the Bible and God has given us that so that we can know who Jesus is we can know who God is objectively he said he says 
here I wrote this is who I am when you now here's the thing here's a uh, there's there is some grace that comes to this okay let's say someone's just becoming a Christian they're just starting to learn and let's say they have a messed up view of God they don't understand the Trinity or whatever it is fine totally fine you're not gonna go up and say oh you're not a Christian but you're gonna try to show them the truth right if you're if you're a Christian you're gonna say hey um yeah the Bible does teach that God is in a, a, a trinity of persons let me show you the scriptures that prove that one of which is first John 5 7 right and a bunch of other ones and then you go through you show them a ton of scriptures do a whole teaching show them my video I got a video on it right the trinity of persons and the Godhead show them that if after that and studying all these issues seeing all the verses seeing all the proof they still reject the Trinity reject some attribute of God that is clearly taught in the Bible they're not a Christian there I said it they're not you know why because it has nothing to do with my opinion has nothing to do with my teaching it has to do with either you accept what the Bible says about God or you don't and that's it isn't that simple it's very simple okay either you accept the scriptures and what it teaches about God or you don't okay and there are a lot of people who don't and they think they can just they just peep so many people love giving an opinion with nothing to back it up and you got them all over YouTube all of all different types of beliefs I, oh yeah Jesus was this and blah 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 and I don't really know the theology but I'm just gonna say what I believe anyway well guess what I don't really care what you think who you think God is I care what is the truth I care what God says who he is what his attributes are I care who Jesus says he is he said search the scriptures for they and you'll find um, for there they would testify of me he says the scriptures testify of who I am search them right that's the ultimate final authority for all matters of faith and practice so you know you see someone on, on YouTube or whatever it is and they're ranting and ranting and God is this and logos and and Jesus and all this stuff but they don't actually go to the scriptures to find out who Jesus is who the Father Son and the Holy Ghost is all these types of things find that Jesus is God they just come up with their own opinion guess what that's all it is it's just their imagination of their own heart something they made up in their mind and guess what that's idolatry okay when you carve out a God in your mind who you want to be however you want him to be that's idolatry okay because there's the God of Scripture and then there's everything else everyone else's imagination which is every other religion in the world and every other crazy belief that someone comes up with it doesn't matter if someone uses the name of Jesus that they use Jehovah if they say God if they say the Holy Spirit none of that matters it only matters is if their description of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, if their description of Jesus matches what the Bible says they are, then it's true. That's it. That's simple. So, just wanted to make this video because of this statement of theology. I'm not really into theology. Theology doesn't matter. Theology matters a lot. And you either have an accurate one or an inaccurate one. And if you have an inaccurate one, it's your responsibility to try to get a more accurate version of theology through studying the scriptures. And that's it. Okay? But if you're content to have an inaccurate view of God, and you're content to teach that to thousands of people online on YouTube, you're going to be held accountable for that. Oh yeah, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says every idle word that men shall speak shall come into account thereof in the day of judgment by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so be careful with your words have a good day